you think about the pharmaceutical industry uh, historically, in terms of our knowledge of our products and our processes, uh, it's really been geared towards can we process it okay and can we get tablets or our doses from at the other end okay. And we haven't really paid enough attention to the materials that incorporate are incorporated into that process. We need to be able to understand how the, the, the different particles that we're using fit together to form our doses form. And we need to know why we're using those particles, why we're using those excipients and active drugs in that formulation. How do they go about performing their function? How do we ensure that when they do perform their function, we get drug coming out of our dosage form and it goes to the right places? So it's all about our ability to, to get a dosage form that is going to consistently perform in the right way. And the only way we can really do that is to go down to the particulate level and see how those particles are going to interact. Now this approach isn't a new one, it's the material science and engineering approach and it's been applied to the steel industry, it's been applied to um, people making uh, materials for swimsuits in the Olympics, it's uh, very big in Formula One, in sport and in the food industry. What the farm industry needs to do is to play a little bit of catch up to try and get a bit more material science thinking into the way that it understands its products and its processes. Because only that way can we really demonstrate that we understand what's happening when we mix those powders together and form that tablet and that we can really ensure that we have a safe and efficacious product. Not only something that's efficacious and safe at the point at which we launch it, but something that will be safe and efficacious throughout the whole life cycle. Uh, of that particular dosage form.